Hello, Cancerians. Time for a little love reading. I'm Michelle B. Little love and connection reading. What do you need to know? If you resonated with the title of this video, you felt like I needed to check in on that, there might be some messages for you. But I'm going to just pull a card real quick to find out the trajectory of the reading so you'll know pretty quickly whether or not I'm talking about you. Whether or not I pique your interest. Wow. King of Cups. Now he's come up three different times in these readings and I feel like there's somebody, Cancerians have somebody in their lives that is very much this scorpionic vibration as far as like the personality archetypes of the tarot go. It's this very strong, emotionally, um, like he, uh, he knows how emotions work. He can read them in other people. He's, he's got a, a strong, um, intuitive read on how where where people are emotionally but he can also because he, he can see how people are feeling he can manipulate he knows what kinds of words and what kinds of vibrations to put out to manipulate it um cancerians can can be that way too but i associate them much more with the um with the queen of cups rather rather than the king of cups so i don't think this is you cancer this is somebody in your life that's it's a very powerful watery influence and I feel like the two of you I'm reading I'm reading the vibes of that are coming in right now and I feel like the two of you together it's very stormy very tumultuous when the two of you reflect off of each other because you are both powerful uh, emotional readers powerful intuitive emotional readers you both can read auras very easily and so that can, like, when you read each other, it's like you're both open books and you look at each other and you try your old tricks. The, the tricks that you can get away with with other people, you cannot get, get away with them with your partner here. And both of you, you, you piss each other off because you catch each other all the time, like trying to be, like, trying to pull a fast one, right? <laughs> you, catch, you catch this person, you catch this person trying to pull a fast one on you all the time and you get mad when they do it. When when they catch you doing it, they're like, whatever, who do you think you are? But when you catch them trying to pull a fast one on you, you're like, I am pissed. You get, I mean, it really hurts, right? But you, but your immediate, I think, I, let's, let's, let's back it up a little bit. Your immediate reaction is anger. Like, how dare you treat me like that? How dare you think Treat me as though I don't know what's going on here. You think you want you think I'm stupid, right? And then after you calm down from being angry, that's when you get really sad because you're like, I really connect well with this person. And it hurts me so much that we understand each other so well. So it's stormy, it's really rocky. Should relationships be like that? Maybe in this lifetime for you. Let's find out more. Because it's like I think I was talking to Pisces, I think it was Pisces that I was talking to about looking out for, no, it was Virgo, looking out for connections that aren't so stormy, that aren't so moody. But um, sometimes we're just, it's just not worth it to us to be in connections for certain individuals. It's not worth it for us to be in connections that aren't so intense, so emotionally intense. And so that's the kind of relationship, either we're not in a relationship or we're in a relationship where it's really intense and we're like wishing that we weren't. Oh, I'm just like, I'm just remembering this song. I can't remember the people that did it, but it was like, I wish that I was single again. And she was like, I married another man. <laughs> and I wish that I was single again. <laughs> so you're like oscillating back and forth. I wish I was single. That way I wouldn't feel this pain. And then when you are alone, you're like, I wish I would, I wish I felt that deep connection that I had when I was in, with, with someone. So it's like, Back and forth, back and forth. Oh, okay, so so some advice. All right, this is so much connected to the way that you were raised, okay, Cancer? So much connected to what you think is possible for you, the connections that you have with other people right now. It's, it's 
I mean, if you had a paternal, it could have been maternal, if you had a, a, a very influential adult that was very emotionally driven and very emotionally manip manipulative toward you, that's what taught you how to, be the, how to be that. That's what taught you what to be attracted to. And so um, every, every connection that you have, every deep connection that you have with someone is like, Either, either you're not, a, there's no connection there at all, or the connection you have is so intense because that's what you were taught, that's what you were taught con, uh, in, uh, intimate connections are all about. And so you're like, I can't get beyond it being intense. I can't get into, I've got, I'm tied up, so I can't be with people. I can't have intimate connections with people that are actually healthy. I don't know how to do that, all right? Do you, would you like to have healthy relationships with people? And I'm not saying to get rid of this guy, right? I'm not saying that. I'm just talking about becoming a healthier person yourself first, and then the connections that you have with other people start to reflect the connection that you have with yourself. And so if this person is still attracted to you, even though you're becoming a healthier person with, with better boundaries, if they're still attracted to you, awesome, right? If they're not attracted to the healthier you, that's fine because you're going to attract something a little bit better, okay? So backing up, backing up, going back to you being a healthier person. We need to be able to, we need to be focusing on healthier relationships from like how we're putting ourselves out there. So we are never trying to emotionally manipulate people. We are being completely upfront and honest. You see the swords are all about honesty and our words and our thoughts. So we're being completely upfront and honest when we're talking to someone and we are not being attached in any way to their reaction. Okay. If we're, re if we're attached to their reaction, that means we're trying to control their reaction. So we allow ourselves to, like when we wake up in the morning, this is what I do every morning, I wake up and I'm like, what would make me happy? What can I do that would make me so happy this morning? Me happy. It's not about what I can do to make somebody else do what I want them to do, right? It's what can I do to make me happy? And if somebody tries to call me up, interrupt me in the middle of it, then I use my words and I say, I'm busy doing something else right now, but if you want to connect later, there'll be a more convenient time at this time, you know? So that's that's where we're going, right? We're, 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 we ourselves are not being this person. We ourselves are being stable, emotionally content. We might be able to read other people's emotions, but that does not make it, make it, it's not a reflection of who we are. So if we're reading someone, there's someone we're intimate with, and we're reading their, their, their vibe that they're not feeling great, it's not, it's not our business. We're staying in our own lane. That's their vibe. That doesn't affect us, right? So we're learning how to protect ourselves from other people's energies. There, uh, there is a huge wealth of, um, of advice, of, of resources, of, videos on YouTube right now when so when you get off get off of this video with me you can look up how to protect your empathic energy from other people and so you create better boundaries with other people so you can stand up for yourself and you're not so worried about what other people are thinking about you that's really the fundamental basis that the only difference between a codependent and a narcissist is that is that uh, the narcissist is like, uh, how is it? The, the narcissist is much, uh, uh, um, is much more happy being alone. I, I, no, that's not it. Damn it. God, I lost it. <laughs> anyway, there's very, there's, they're like flip sides of the same coin and it has to do with feeling like you need to control the, the reactions of the people that you're getting energy from. Okay. So, um, yeah, don't be the victim of other people's energy. Keep your own energy, and therefore you will never be a perpetrator of, of like emotional manipulation on other people. And that's and then the connections you attract are go, only going to be um, healthy from there. All right. So that's it. That's what you want. 
But if you like having those stormy connections and the other person's perfectly happy having star stormy connections, well, that's your karma for this life, okay? <laughs> it's there, all right? That's your, that's your choice. But if you don't like it, you can change it. Just saying. I gotta go. It's been 10 minutes. Love you, Cancer. I'll see you later.